to the third video of your training. So in this video, we will be covering questionnaires. As we have already discussed what we have to do about the daily report and which methods we have to be using uh, for our daily report. So we have already discussed that and I hope uh, you have started reporting your daily activities. So now, today we will be uh, talking about the questionnaires. I know you have already done it, but this will be very much essential and necessary for those who are applying new. And once you have started a job post and once you have received the applicants who have applied for the internship, so this would be the first step you would be showing uh, with your intern as of your first email. So this is the questionnaire. As you can see here, dear candidate, please fill out the following form and together with your replay email. So then the first here they have to mention their name, email address, telephone number and then this is something very much important as we have encountered this issue with many of our entrants. So actually those who are in Afghanistan, many of them, they do not use Skype. So this is very much uh, essential for the questionnaire to be provided and as we will be doing lots of our communication and in this way we will be in contact with each other so the first thing for them to do is if they do not have a skype account they have to create one and once they did that they should be sharing the link here so that's easy you sometimes they mention their name only so the problem with the name is that sometimes if they give their name and we start taking their name and search it over here so there would be lots of uh, names pop up, popping here so that's not what we want what we want is this thing so so you copy this one copy and then you go to the questionnaire and simply by clicking here you have to paste it. so this is actually what you want okay please make sure that once they fill out the questionnaire so please check this one if they have provided this or not okay and then moving to the next part that would be LinkedIn URL so in order for you to send or to paste your LinkedIn URL, so that's also some other thing that you have to have uh, your LinkedIn account uh, because it is needed here and you would be copying the link for your LinkedIn account over here. So this is very much simple. You come and click on your account and here you have contact info. So in contact info, this is your profile, okay? This is the profile and you just copy this one, come to your questionnaire and you paste it here. Very much easy, okay? Then you have country. Your status in the country, whether you are a citizen, you are a migrant or you are here through a visa student. So you can choose that one, right? mostly those are citizen, okay? So you write that one here. And then we have educational qualification. Your university or college, major or minor, program, year, and all that. So you have to mention it. If you are a university graduate, you write it here and which year. And uh, you can also mention your major also and your program here as well and then we are having country all countries where you have had your educational from elementary to school universities or to school to universities so uh, you mentioned that one where you have studied your elementary and where you did your uh, uh, high school 
and we are either you in college or university so you have to mention that country name of him after that we have work experience or internships so you write all your experience here and you can also write the internships that you did with any organization you can mention those as well then we have which position you are interested in okay so you have to write that one also um, and if you can see here we have got all these positions that you can apply and you do your internship with so we have administration blogger digital marketing e-commerce marketing and turn uh, social media uh, and conference team engineering and trend product securing event management technical and trend social media and of course hr entries so you can choose from this and you can write it over there okay and then you have you and then we have your plan starting date when you will be able or when you are ready to start your entrance you will write that one so mostly the internships are for three months or six months so it's up to you which one you go to whether you choose six months or whether you choose three months and then anticipated ending date so as i have mentioned the internships are for three or six months so like once you have started here like suppose first of first that's month first and then 2023 so you count january february and march and first of if you choose three months so the first of which one first of month four which is april so you write that one here and that would be your ending date okay and of course you can go for six months as well then we have possible extended date sometimes you can extend your internships okay and if uh, you did not complete your internship so it's up to upper management sometimes they do extend your internship in order for them to make sure that you have got or learned something from here and then here is a commitment you have to do how many hours will you be able to commit per week so at least there is a condition that as we have mentioned here the duration of six or three months that you have to be online or working 20 hours per week okay and those hours are up to you whether it's up uh, as per your own convenience whenever you are comfortable you can do that to work so you can commit that maybe. so you go for 25 hours per week so you mentioned that and uh, this is what we have talked about and uh, like it says please enter the longest duration and the maximum number of hours you can commit minimal commitments are a duration of three or six months and 20 hours per week okay and that is what you have to remember and this part we have already talked about so no other queries i guess as per me that is left out but still if there is any question or any suggestion you can comment below and let me know if there is anything so i can reach out to you or make another video regarding this one so i'm going to be wrapping up our t3 which is the third video of our training and take care bye bye